folks, last month's Patreon vote winner was this sucker by all these lovely people. Thanks ever so much for your support as ever. Now, tone-wise, I would go with Humbuckers. I'm using the uh, Kim Thayil Polara by Guild. You're going to need to tune your E string down to D. So it matches your fourth string. All right. And then I'm using the Walrus Audio Eras for the dirt with these settings. It's not super high gain. But you know, there's a bit of chug in there, isn't there? And then neck pickup for the... get all that lovely sustain going right so chris and kim are basically both having a bit of a strum at the beginning you basically want to play an octave five and seven on the d and g but the other two in between are open so the um so the sixth string and the fourth string are going to be open You got like a triplet pattern going on. You know, don't worry too much about it, but you essentially want you do three on the low one, roughly three on the sort of top two. Then over the top, Kim plays. So an alternating pattern of open and octave. And you start on the 12th fret and then you move it up. Then you slide up. You could, um, I mean there I'm doing kind of a grace note slide there. But from anywhere really, so that's why I've notated it with a slide, right? Okay, and then you go up to the 17th fret. Then into the main riff. Pretty straightforward. So even flowy, isn't it? So we have... Down, down, up. Then a slide starting from around about the 2nd fret on that, on that low string. So just slide that up, then, okay, down, up, up. Then you play a slide to the fifth fret on the next string up, and then the open D. Same note, but you know, I see people playing, playing up here and stuff, but if you watch Kim live, he's just staying here, basically. Then switch over to neck pickup, and you're going to do Chris's part, which comes in uh, on the three hand. So one, two, three. again right the second time though you just play uh, for the last bar you just play that little fill and then you're into the verse so pretty straightforward 10 and 11 on the uh, third and fourth string there but as I say it comes in on a three and so one and two and three okay so the first part is just these two fingers you go and then back around so the second part is just it's a half step bend second time So you have 
Now those motifs will come back in uh, a few times, but the verse then goes to this palm muted version. <laughs> Okay, and I think it's probably on the, only on the album version uh, you have Chris playing. You got that going on alongside. So that's just down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Then the next part's this single note stuff. And that has a, like an, a D string drone going on that Chris just plays. So you could combine the both and play two notes at the same time. You know, depends how much gain you're using really, that might get a bit lost. So Kim's part starts with a hammer on. Okay. Just slides there. Just has to be the tab, right? Then we go two to five. Then this little. All right, so that second bar then. Whole thing slowly. So the rhythm part's pretty much um, the same for the first two beats of each measure of that. Then uh, it comes back in with this. But the second guitar part, again, Kim is playing. He's playing that four times. So we have... Again, you are playing the open D and the 12th fret there. Hammer on. Two more and then pull off. And then this. And up to the 17th fret. Which I think he's doing. I don't think he's playing. I don't think he's playing the 13th fret. You can slide up with your first finger if you want. I think he frets it like this. It's his third finger to get up there like that. And then over the top of the last time, it goes back into. Like that. And then it repeats again round verse, um, chorus, and then uh, it plays that again. Slight variance there, right? So the second time after the cor cor verse chorus, it um, finishes with. It's a full step bend there. So you're pre bending the 11th fret, half a step. And then 12th fret, full, full bend. All right, back to bridge pickup. Then we have. There's this kind of twangy overdub part. Grace note hammer on five to seven. And then we're open strings then and fifth fret. Same rhythm right throughout. Distortion back on for the next bit, and we've got like a sort of middle eight section really, which goes. You could do. You, know, you could do 
few octaves if you wanted there. So you've got a unison bend, 8th fret on the B, 10th fret on the next string down, bend up full, and then the next part is just the 7th fret on the G string. Like that, four times around that. Uh, then it actually hangs over on the fourth time. The next part, Chris is singing hands all over, and we have um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, Etc. Right? This thing goes around eight times, okay? So pretty straightforward. Two, five, four. Just double stops and you've got the open D each time. Two, three, then four, seven, five. And I'll just use, you know, your respective one, four, three, and one, four, two fingers for that. Then we've got another one of these. Or with the D string if you wanted. thrown in if you want. This time though, four times around there, and again you'll hear Chris's D string drone in that part. Then we're into the outro. Um, more of this. So that's what Chris is playing. And then over the top you've got this outro part with some more octaves, which goes... going on right so 12th fret and the um, 16th notes down one fret down to the seventh fret ninth fret we play that round twice and then we go and then into free time we have this got that and then you end on and that friends is it hope you enjoyed that one lots more sound garden to come see you soon